Okay, so I haven't done this coin in a long time, so I'm going to do it. XRP. We'll use the Binance coin. Let's just see where we're at since the last time I looked at this. I'm going to actually clear this chart because it's obnoxious and I can't understand what's going on. I'm also going to remove the indicators just for now so I can kind of read what's going on in the chart. So here on the daily time frame, uh, let me get move this to the side a little bit. So here on the daily time frame for XRP, well, if you use the FIBs from the last local top at $1.83 and go to the most recent low, uh, which was down there at 50 cents, the 618 on the macro time frame that you really want to get above would be uh, the 618 right here at $1.32. If you're above $1.32, you're extremely bullish. Currently, you're getting rejected out of the 0.382 FIB, which is at dollar, basically a dollar, just a little bit above it. Um, then you have the 0.5 FIB, which you did get above, and I don't think that will be hard to get above. Uh, is a dollar sixteen, and then like I said, the six one eight is a dollar thirty two. If you're above a dollar thirty two on the macro daily time frame, you're really bullish, and I would say major upside is in play at once you're above and close the daily candle above a dollar dollar thirty two. Then if you're above a dollar thirty two, the point seven six is up here at dollar fifty two, um, and then you have a local high, all time high, uh, without the, using the wicks at one eighty four, and then the wick took you up to almost two dollars at one ninety seven. So I would say. Uh, anything above a dollar thirty-two is extremely bullish. And if you know, and then uh, your some of your targets, if you made new highs, would be two fifteen, and then two sixty, I believe, two sixty, just around that two sixty level. So those are the targets to the upside if you make a new high. Um, but I would say that a uh, dollar thirty-two is where you want to beat to stay above it and be bullish. Um, you also have to the have the 236 at 81 cents for support. And then below that, you have um, the local low at 51 cents, which I don't see as going anywhere near again. I think probably the bottom is in at 236, uh, which would be 83 cents. So uh, that's kind of the worst case scenario right here. That's I'll draw a red line here saying uh, I don't see you going below the 236 right there. That is not a very straight line, but you get the picture. Um, I would say the 236 is the worst case scenario for us to still be bullish on the smaller time frames. And daily time frames have to be above a dollar thirty two. That's all I got. I actually like XRP by the end of this bull run to hit 10 bucks, even if the lawsuit isn't over by in the next month or two. Um, if the lawsuit does get resolved sometime in December, then this actually has potential in the next two months to probably hit 30 bucks. Those are my price predictions if certain things happen. Um, if not, then I still expect 10 bucks, if nothing else, on XRP or very close to that. That's all I got. See you guys in the next one.